I am so excited. Congratulations. My really good friend Andrew, who is an extreme mountaineer, drew a once in a lifetime mountain goat tag in Idaho. This tag was like winning the lottery, and I'm grateful that I'm along for the ride. All the scouting, the miles you gotta put in. How many miles did you put in, Andrew? I don't think? know, I was trying to calculate that the other day, but I know it's well over 200. 200 miles um, of scouting. Just, because you know, you get up there on those ridges, you just gotta run, sit, glass, and then keep on walking, and then, you know, it's hard to figure out when to sit in glass and just be patient. Mm -hmm. Um, and wait for them, but yeah, there's several different herds we've been watching, or I've been watching, after work. Yeah, adds up the miles fast. See if it all pays off today. I'm just, I'm so. just all along for the ride. Andrew, Andrew's done all the scouting for me, so. Yep, there's two billies we're looking at today, yeah. and they should be up there. Nice. And if luck is running with us, we should be able to bag one today and bring them down. Yeah. Pretty excited. The fog is, may challenge us, but we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully. Facing the extremes of the extreme. Yeah. A little breezy. Very breezy. A little bit cold. Just a little bit cold. So where are Actually, the really cold? Where are the goats, Andrew? I thought they were just running there. Or I was kidding. Well, I decided to play a little joke on you, buddy. Yeah. Clearly, you can see there's no goats here. Just a bunch of white snow. Yeah. Yeah. Try finding a white goat in white snow. Ever tried that before? Even your binoculars don't help. Yeah. Well, supposedly there's a really good spot to glass here, and that's what it looks like right now. It's pretty socked in. Yep. Um, glass about 100 feet. Yeah. So we'll just keep keep side hilling, keep making it up. Maybe go try and make the summit if we don't fall on our butts and ski down the mountain. Yeah, it's it's really slick out here. You gotta be really careful. These rocks are. I can't even stand up straight. Yeah, this stuff is pretty nasty. Especially when you get like one of those big rocks, it's just just like a plate. You just slide right off of it. Um, I don't know, did it help that it rained and then it snowed and froze? Then it froze and then this morning was freezing rain. Yeah. Hiking up. Now it's snowing. Yeah. You gotta really be careful with those foot footsteps. <laughs> Every step. Well, the weather got really nasty for a couple days, so we waited out the storm and hit the same spot on what was supposed to be a sunnier day. All right, we're trying it again. Back up here. Got about a foot of snow hiking through. It's just a beautiful day. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully it breaks up a little bit, that sun pokes through. It's gonna be gorgeous. Like the hunting outfit you got there. <laughs> Like that, nice and bright. <laughs> I'm all about safety. Yeah. There you go. I want the other hunters to be able to see me. Exactly. Mm. Now you're good. Another foggy day. It should lift up though. That's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Looking pretty fogged in, Andrew. I know. I got high hopes, though. I, I'm trying to maintain high hopes. I think it's gonna, I mean, it says it's gonna lift. Forecast is always right. I have 100% faith. Yeah. So we're just gonna wait it out for a little bit. It'll clear. Forecast says so. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Frustration. So much time I spent looking at this goat, dreaming about it, 
and waiting for the hide, for its hide to grow, comparing it to other goats. And now look, a couple days left a season and they're gone. Where in the world did they go? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go move to South Carolina. How'd you do that? It's warm down there. It's flat. They don't have mountains or mountain goats. You don't have to stress out about that. <gasps> Unfortunately, we were not able to find that Billy that Andrew was after. So we had to go with plan B, or we had some nanny spotted a month earlier on a different mountain. We're bushwhacking the day. We're uh, getting low on time. Thought today and tomorrow's our last days. Today's supposed to be foggy, but we can't let that stop us. So we don't have a lot of time to kill the mountain goats. So looks like the fog line's pretty high though, so maybe we'll be able to see the goats. After doing a little glassing, we actually ended up spotting a big billy. Andrew may end up with a big billy after all. <sighs> Finally, I'm at a hike of whites out there, but he is sitting there just below that tree. He's bedded down. I got the camera set up, Andrew got set up on the gun, and now we're ready for action. Okay, Andrew, I am ready for you to shoot whenever you're ready. Okay, get another bullet in it. Another bullet, Andrew. Okay. Andrew gave him one more for good measure. We don't want this goat to roll off the cliff. Nice one. <laughs> Andrew, you got your goat. I am so excited. Good shot, man. I am pumped. You drilled him. He's a big one. All right, so, goat's there. This is what it looks like zoomed out. Pretty gnarly ridge. Um, beautiful mountain though. Um, right here, you can see there's kind of a little brush field. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk up this brush field, hopefully cross this draw and get to him. And that should, that's the plan. We got all day, but no, we're pumped. Andrew. I am so stoked. I so, cannot believe it. I am I can't wait to lay eyes on that thing mm -hmm. close up. He's a tanker man. In uh, my opinion, I think he looks like a tanker, but we'll find find out, won't we? We'll find out when we get there. So much he shrieks between between looking at him up from over here mm -hmm. till we get over there. It's gonna take a while to climb up that. Mm -hmm. So he'll have some time to shrink if he is going to. But he looked big. He looked Look like a real tanker in the spotting scope. Mm -hmm. I'm pumped. Oh, I can't wait to get over there. All right, up to get the goat. We had to drop a couple thousand feet in elevation so we can cross this creek. Now we're back up the mountain. After cutting down and crossing the creek, coming back up, we should find that goat. 
and it's snowing on us, hopefully it doesn't cover it. Okay. Forecast was supposed to be nasty today, and hopefully this is not what it was talking about. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Should be fine. We're men. We found him! <laughs> Look at this! I, I, I am so he's, excited. He's under snow. This all snowed in just an hour and a half. This is more than I expected. Way more than I expected. It's a tanker, man. Look at that mass. Oh, yeah. Nice. I am so excited. Congratulations. Okay, I'll... Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much for all your help. Dude, I am... He's a tanker. ...ecstatic. Oh. Stuck in the rut, 2018. Walking up on this thing was the most exciting 10 steps I've ever took in my life. I have, I would, well, upon drawing the tag first, I was so, like, people told me, you know, they only draw one of them, and the chances of getting it are once in a lifetime, and then the odd chance of getting that once in a lifetime <laughs> is incredibly rare. And then upon getting it, I started hiking. I'm a very avid hiker to begin with. And this is the type, backing up a little bit, this is the type of hunt I, I enjoy. I'm not much of a hunter, but this is, this is what I love. It's like scouting the ridges, scouting the high mountains, hiking the high mountains. That is what I love. So I was able to make that 400 yard shot. The first time ever shooting, that distance put him down right here and the reason we are so lucky we were able to shoot him here is because right down there there's a cliff I kid you not 500 feet straight down drop off yeah there's some little ledges down there where he might have stopped but we would have had to get rock climbing gear and rappel down this and look at this we got two to three inches of fresh snow on bear grass we could have died we could have fell off that and that would have been the end of us so we, <laughs> me and Tom, we are so thankful we were able to do, uh, shoot him here where we did. Oh yeah, so we got the meat, we got the horns. We're just about ready to go. We got an hour before dark, but you know, this is the only draw is this one in front of us here. After we, after we get across that, Shouldn't be too bad. It's going to be a little bit slick because we're like, we're hiking down some pretty yeah. steep stuff and it's bare grass. And look, we got two to three inches of fresh snow to slip on. Um, okay. That's rock. Well, this is going to be tricky trying to figure out where that is. Long night. Sure is nice that. But it's finally starting to flat out a little, but we've been fighting brush. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my feet are soaked. <sighs> After a long, long day, we started hiking in the dark with a flashlight and we ended the day in the dark. <laughs> Dude, <sighs> it has been a day I will never forget. Stuck in a rut 2018, an Idaho yeah! mountain goat on the ground. In the trunk. In the trunk. That's always the greatest feeling. Make sure to subscribe for more Stuck in Rut videos. Thank you for watching. Next week I'll be posting my New Mexico elk hunt, so stay tuned.